Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video and this one we're in Vivigo AI. In this video I'm going to show you a few examples of their incredible AI images and AI videos including how to make them. We're going to go through image generation to start off including text prompting and using your own images to create images based on that. So basically like an imitation or a likeness type style. After that we're going to go into video generation where we're going to do text to video and then I'm going to show you my favorite feature which uses their keyframe generator and this allows us to go from one image to another image and then animate in between it. It is absolutely wild. I haven't seen that before. We're also going to look at character creation if you want to create yourself into your favorite anime character or maybe your pet make it into an anime character for example. We're going to do all of these things and I'm going to walk you through it. But the first thing we got to do is we got to go to the website and sign up. So let me show you how to do that first. All right. So the first step is an easy one. Head over to their website. Vivigo.ai link is in the description below. Once you're here, if you have an account, click on sign in. If you do not, click on try for free. And I really like this because you get to try it before you buy it. Now that said, I'm going to close out of this here. I'm going to switch over to Google Chrome because on this one, I am signed in and I have a paid account. In fact, I have the plus account. So you can see that here. And for this one, I could skip the generation waiting time and all those other fancy things for videos at once, etc. But that's not the point of this video. The point is to show you how good it is. And that's what I want to show you now. So let's dig in and start off with AI image generation. All right, here we go. So we want to start off with some AI image generation. So this is super, super easy. On the left side, you'll see under tools, image generation. Obviously, the next step here is up at the top here, we have some options. We can do text to image or we can do image to image where we use our own image, we upload our own image and we use that as inspiration. So let's go ahead with the prompt here. So in this case, I've already created a few. And yeah, if you didn't guess yet, I have a bulldog and his name's Kingston and he looks a lot like this. But let's start off with just text to image. So it's very easy to do. English bulldog reading a book. So I'm just having some fun here. Let's switch from French to English. And then up at the top, we have the option to use magic prompt. This is very cool for those of you that are not like prompt engineers or you don't want to add in big long prompts and you want to let the AI go ahead and make some choices for you. Turn magic prompt on. This will make a much longer, more detailed prompt. We're going to go ahead and do that. If we want to go ahead and use tags, we can do that. In this case, I don't know. Do you want to add one in? Yeah, let's add in some. Yeah, let's add in some style. So I'm going to add in some style. And this is my favorite one here because you can actually go ahead and use some of these different pre built. So in this case, if I wanted my English Bulldog reading a book to be Mad Max, hell yeah, I do. Let's just click on that and add that style or add that tag and you'll see it added in right there. Now, there are so many you can choose from here. So feel free to go through them here. I just want to show you that they exist and they're one click easy to use. Here's the thing, though, that I really like to do. And in this case, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to create a second example. But if you upload an image, it will go ahead and use that image as imitation or as a source of inspiration. So there we go. I've gone ahead and added in some Mad Max. I'm going to select the model, poly, poly art model, or do I want to use an anime model? Do I want an anime style uh, Mad Max? No, let's go with poly art for this one. But again, you have some options. And finally, check this out here. Aspect ratios. I've got 69 selected, but if you want one to one, that's great for Instagram. 916 is great for YouTube Shorts and TikTok. But there we go. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to make four images. So we get four for one here. And then I'm going to click on generate. This will take a few seconds. We'll get our first kick at it here. Our first AI images are going to come up in a few seconds. I'll come back when they're done. And then I'm going to show you image to image, which is actually my favorite of all of them. All right, welcome back. So here's our first kick at the can here for text to image. And you know what? It did a pretty damn good job. What did we say? We wanted an English bulldog reading a book and we had Mad Max as our tag. So let's click on a couple of the images here. Okay, that is a perfectly formed English bulldog, including the drooping ears. The French bulldogs have pointy ears. English bulldog ears droop down. Fantastic. So this looks absolutely great. It's got that blown out post apocalyptic background in there. He's sitting in a chair and even the book says Mad Max Fury Road to really sell it. I like it, guys. It, the magic prompt that we use as well. Remember here, we put in a prompt here. It thinks Bulldog reading a book. But then the magic prompt, which is basically an extension or an expansion of our original of our original prompt. Look at this here. A gritty post apocalyptic landscape serves as the backdrop 
for an English bulldog comfortably seated on a worn leather armchair, engrossed in a tattered, weathered book, the bulldog wrinkled face, expressive eyes, etc. This is a magic prompt. This is an extension. Absolutely fantastic. It got the aspect ratio right. It did it all. It, it, it just went ahead and did it all. So here we go. This is a good example here. A couple other things we can do while I got you here. If you want to go ahead and enhance it, you want to upscale it, I'm just going to click on the 4X there. We're going to go ahead and it says here, task generating. We're upscaling it. So it's going to be ultra detailed, ultra high definition. Very cool. We can expand it. This is another cool tool that they've got in here. Maybe we like it, but we want to make it bigger. Okay, we can go ahead and do that. Watch this. I'll click on 2X here it's gonna go ahead and expand it and double its size. And last but definitely not least, oops, I'll just go back up here to the picture. We can do some repainting, we can erase some sections, and we can even save the character. For those of you that are looking for, you know, different ways to create consistent characters, you can do that as well. So these are just some of the options. Let's quickly look here. Here's a couple other examples here that it created. They're all very similar. This one's very, very good, the first one. Second one's quite good. He's a little bit more droopy and a little bit more, I guess, sad in that one here. And this one here, that's pretty good too. And then ah, the fourth one is excellent. It's a little bit closer. The camera's a little bit zoomed in a little bit more. Absolutely fantastic stuff. Let me show you a couple of quick things here while I got you. I'm going to X out of this here. We have gone ahead and done both the enhance and the expand real quickly here. The enhancement, we went to 4X. And look at this here. If you really look here, you'll see a lot more detail, a lot more graininess in the image. You'll see more detail here in the chair, in the book. It's got that worn leather type look to it. So it's gone ahead and enhanced it. It's an option. I like to use it. For those of you that like to have that realistic look, go ahead and do that. And if I X out of that, you can also see we've expanded it here. So this is the expansion option. Also fantastic. A lot more on the sides here. It looks like this dog's got a lot more on the side and in behind him. Looks good here. The next thing I want to show you, however, is the text to image using a reference image. I'll make this very, very quick clear. Watch this here. I'm going to go ahead and type in a prompt, French Bulldog, and watch this. This is where the magic happens. I'm going to click on upload image and look at this here. I can now drag and drop an image in here to use as inspiration. So I'm going to go into my finder and of course I'm going to grab an image of my dog Kingston because that's how it works. Because I'm his dad, that's how it works. And there he is. He's beautiful. I'm going to click on confirm. And this is really, really fun for those of you that like to go ahead and take make your pets or make yourself into characters. Maybe I want my dog to look like an anime dog, for example. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this model here. And I'm going to switch it to anime. And this is now the model that I'm running with. French Bulldog anime. Let's go anime French Bulldog. But again, it is using my image here of Kingston as the inspiration. I'm going to go ahead and set that to one to one because the original image is a square or a one to one. So let's just go ahead and do that and watch this. I'm just going to click on generate. Let's go ahead and create four. I'll come back when that's done and show you how it took my image of my dog and turned him into an anime character with literally one click. Here we go. All right, welcome back. So let's see what we got here. We got sort of an anime style French bulldog, a kind of cartoony version of my dog here. And look at these images. These are fan Fantastic. In fact, I've got my original image open right here. Look at it here. Here's my dog Kingston. You got the brindle on the sides, the white stripe down the middle in between his eyes here. Look at that. And then now look at the images again here. The white stripe between the eyes, the brindle on the sides, the sharp pointy French bulldog ears. As a dog parent, if you have an animal or a pet or you like creating characters, you can do this all day. It is tons of fun. I would, of course, select one of these here, and then I would go ahead and download it just like that. I'll also publish this to my account just so people can see it because I love my dog so much. Why not? And, of course, I can go ahead and make changes if you need to. In this case, I do not need to, but I can repaint. I can erase parts if I want to, and I can also do the enhancements and the expansions like I showed you in the previous images. So that is AI image generation in Vivigo. It is fantastic, but it actually isn't anywhere near as amazing as what I'm about to show you, which is their video generation. You're really going to love this. All right, so the next thing I'm going to show you is their AI video generation, and it is absolutely awesome. You'll see here I'm hovering over the main page here. You'll see here I'm on Video Explore, and then I'm going to hover over some of these videos. Take a look at this. This is a baby jumping around in his diaper. Look at this cyberpunk-style kitty cat with the animation and the tail moving. I just hover over some of these, and I'm just... 
I'm actually kind of shocked at how good this is. Like, look at this little poodle just doing its thing. There's a band of Jack Russell Terriers just totally rocking out. I mean, you can just hover and look at these for days. They are awesome. But let's go ahead and create some of our own. How to do it? Easy. Video generation here under Tools, Video Generation. Click on that. And then let's go ahead and start simple. Text to video, and then I'm gonna show you image to video, which is just absolutely mind blowing with their keyframe generation functionality. So let's start off nice and easy. English Bulldog in a rocket ship. So there's my prompt. And let's go ahead and make this a five second video. Do note that you can create up to 10 second long videos if you're interested. Motion strength is essentially how much movement do you want in the video. In this case, I'm going to jack it all the way up to 30 because I want a whole bunch of motion. That really shows off the power of Vivigo. And then finally, let's go ahead and select an aspect ratio. 69 if you're looking for a standard YouTube type video. 916 if you're doing a TikTok or a YouTube short. One to one, by the way, is great for Instagram. But in this case, let's go ahead and stick with 169. And then really all we need to do now is just go ahead and click on generate. This will take a few seconds to generate an English Bulldog in a rocket ship. We've got magic prompt turned on, so it's gonna take our basic prompt and make it nice and fancy. Gonna let the AI add in some ideas and fill in some blanks. It's already done 2%. I'm gonna come back when it's done, show you what we got, and then I'm gonna show you the very cool keyframe generation right after that. All right, welcome back. So let's see what English Bulldog in a rocket ship gave us. Let's hover over here and check this out. Holy smokes, this is awesome. Look at the eyes on the Bulldog. You can see that it's got that holy smokes expressive eyes like, oh my God, I'm in a rocket ship, I'm flying off there. This is really fantastic. It's one thing to get the motion right, it's quite another thing to get an expression right. This looks great. Now we got some options here. Of course, as you see here, we can re-prompt it. So we can regenerate it with the same prompt or a different prompt. We can do the retry, we can 4K enhance it. So let's say that this is the one that I want. I can go ahead and turn it into a 4K here. We can remove the background so that we'll just have the dog and the rocket ship if we wanted to. And we can also extend it just like we did with the images if we wanna make this a little bigger. This is perfect for what I'm looking for because it's 169 but it's something for you to think about just in case. What I wanna show you now though is right here. So instead of text to video, watch this. We're gonna to switch to image to video and when we do this, we can upload our own keyframes. Here we go. What am I talking about? You see that little button here, keyframe? Watch this. Turn that on. This is the first keyframe. So this will be the first image. And then there's the last image. And what Vivigo is going to do is it's going to basically interpolate between the two images and turn it into a video. Let me show you how to do that now. This is my favorite thing by far. You're going to love it. All right, the next thing I want to show you is keyframe generation. This is my favorite part of Vivigo. I think this is the best out there. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. Again, we're in video generation. We're going to go from text to video to image to video. Make sure that keyframe is turned on and then go ahead and just click here. So the one it says first, I'm going to go ahead and click on first and it's going to ask me to upload an image. Now I got a picture of Santa Claus and Santa Claus just sort of chilling out, doing some stuff with his reindeer. And if we zoom in a little bit here, you'll see that the reindeer is just a standard little reindeer. There's no lights or anything like that, which is fine. That's what I want. Also, if you don't get the right bounding box off at the beginning here, just keep in mind that you can switch the aspect ratios. And then let's say something like that looks pretty good for, for time sakes. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on confirm. And that is our first frame in the video. Now let's click on last here. I'm gonna click that here and now I've got a picture of Santa Claus, watch this. I'm gonna open up this Santa Claus and this Santa Claus is all lit up, including the reindeer, it's got all the lights on. So it's kind of basically like Santa is just sort of turn the lights on and it's a little more festive. So let's go with something like that. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in a bit here. Okay, so I'm gonna confirm it. Here we go, so what's happened now? We've gone ahead, we've gone ahead and selected our first frame. I've selected the second frame and now we're gonna let it interpolate or animate in between them. So in terms of a prompt, I'm just gonna be like Santa with his lights on, something like that. It doesn't have to be too complex here. Now, if you want to make it winking, you can actually do, this is sort of like a photo, like imagine Mona Lisa just sort of winking at you. That's kind of this type of thing in Magic Brush. But for this one, we're just gonna go ahead and do the keyframe uh, interpretation here or the uh, 
keyframe generation, I guess is, eh, that's probably the right way to put it. I'm gonna make this one five seconds in terms of motion strength. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it to 15. If you want lots of motion in your video, like this one here with the bulldog and the eyes and the jowls going, again, I can't believe how good this is. You can turn it way up, but let's just go ahead and keep it in the middle here. And then watch this. All you gotta do now is click on generate. This will take maybe, I don't know, about 30 seconds to cook up. When it's done, I'll come back, show you what we got, all right, welcome back. So let's look at keyframe generation. Here we go. So again, we had an image that we started with, and then we had a similar image that we wanted it to turn into, and then we wanted to animate in between it. So if I hover over it here, watch this here. You'll see that it starts off with Santa, and then it morphs into the next Santa, and this Santa has a nice, cool-looking reindeer with a harness on it, and it's all lit up, where the original reindeer, as you can see here, is not lit up. And the thing in his hand here, it looks like he started off with a present and then it turned into a harness and he put it back into his pocket. So this is just one example. Of course, you can try this out, have some fun, test it out, see what you can do. I mean, this is just a quick overview of what you can do with Vivigo AI. There's a lot more here that you can do and try. There's 3D generation, there's character creation. There's all of these AI tools that you can take a look at. It's all here. It's fantastic stuff, guys. It's free to try. I'm gonna put a link in the description below. Give it a run. Let me know what you think. Leave me a comment. Thanks for watching.